structure. Let, let's touch. Let's touch on this. Okay. The structure of your website is wildly important. Absolutely, positively, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now I can explain it. I want you to think about this from a buying a link point of view or getting a link point of view. Okay. Now you can you can follow along with me here. Say we are a plumber. Uh, uh, I don't know. How about Miami? Or better yet, I'm sorry. How about uh, what's a typical? So let's we we should do it typical. Let me let me do it typical. Uh, F L O R D I A, right? Miami. Plumber. Uh, how about emergency plumbing? Okay. There's one example. Okay. Now let me give you another example, and then we're going to talk about this from a buying a link point of view. Okay. Now you have HTTPS. Now remember. Okay. We have website.com. You can't get around that forward slash emergency emergency plumber it probably is um it's neither here nor there so website.com florida miami plumber emergency plumbing or website.com forward slash emergency plumbing miami florida which one of these websites more importantly, which one of these pages is more likely to rank? Now, while you're asking yourself that, let me ask you a question. If you were going to buy a link, where at on this page would you want to get your link? Would you want to get your link here? Here? But yeah, this is not in the in the deal, okay? Do you want to get your link from Florida, Miami, Plumber, or the Emergency Plumbing page? Which one? You'd want to get it from here. Well, why is that? Because it's closer to the root. And as you go further inside of the structure, you're showing less and less importance to the pages that follow. Okay? So what I'm getting at here is when you are only have one primary service and, and even better. Say you have 10 services, but they're all pretty much the same flipping thing, right? and you're really only targeting one location, my best advice would be build out location-based service pages and keep those pages as close to the root. And the reason is, is what you're gonna find is you start ranking these pages here, okay? So if you're out in the world and you're creating your HTTPS, okay? Plus there's too many hops. Even if you're like this, you know, website.com forward slash services, forward slash this is my favorite forward slash um houston plumber okay on this service pages you're listing out all of the different services what's the probability of you ranking this page pretty low right if you're going to structure it down okay so you have your primary service, right? Which is verified with Google My Business, right? But you want to go a little bit farther, okay? And, and, and this happens a lot. I get this a lot. Like you're like, dang, I, I really want to rank in these other areas. Well, here's what's going on, okay? So if we have five primary services and we have two locations, okay? So we have our homepage. So it's clear that this is the homepage, right? So... All right, so we're gonna say that this is the website, okay? We have our services, all right? So let's talk about service. And 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 just for sake of, of coming up with like plumber or whatever, like let's just call it, uh, here, better yet. Where do you wanna operate at? You wanna do, um, we, we need some more information, right? So we still need to know where are we at. So the primary business, which is verified, okay, is in Houston. But we also want to rank in Austin. 
Okay, and let's have a little bit more fun. Let's say we want to do Dallas, too. I have no idea who this is. I don't I don't know who's messaging me. I assume that maybe you're watching. Put it put it in. I'm not sure. Um H O U S T O N. Okay. So we have home, we have service, and we have locations. Okay. This is our normal uh layout. Okay, and I hope this helps you out. I, I, I hope that this helps you out. Okay, and this is normally what I see. Okay, you'll have your services, and we'll say that you are doing service one, service two, service three. Okay, and then you have your locations, right? You have your Houston, you have your Austin, and you have your Dallas, okay? And then what I typically will see, okay, is this type of structuring, okay? So you'll have your HTTPS, services, oh, I'm sorry, you'll have your website.com forward slash services forward slash this like um i don't know houston dash service dash one right and, and, and this is generally what i see okay this is the norm i i see this a lot okay and there are just because other sites in my opinion one guy's opinion what do i know right <laughs> Just because you see a lot of other websites that have been around for multiple years performing very well and their structure is off, doesn't mean that we need to follow suit with structure, right? We want to get to the finish line faster, right? And we know that staying closer to the root will help us tell Google, right? The, a bot, a robot, technically, that, hey, this page is important. We can also support the importance of a page by sending external backlinks in votes from other websites that have high referring domain counts that are high authority. And if we really want the cherry on top, the page is all about our primary service and the anchor text is about our primary service. But that doesn't mean that that link won't pass any value, even if it's about something entirely different, right? Like I could send in a link from a page that's all about Houston uh, plumbing, okay? Uh, Houston plumbing services, and that's great. And that link, yeah, that's a cherry link. That's a that's a premium link. That's great. But I could have a page that is about I don't know Long John Silver's. The anchor text could be Long John Silver, and if that link has a lot of referring domains, and that website is good very well internally linked and I get a link from that site I'll still get credit for the link you know what I'm saying so in any case let's go back down here quick and what I want to do is showcase maybe something that might help you out a little bit more so you're still going to have your home page and I, I don't think that you should showcase a home page like I, I just don't think that you should have a home button I think that the image is probably good enough okay but here's 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 what i would do okay and also just because you make a tab at the top okay like just because i have a tab let me share this with you just because i have a tab that says Chris Palmer SEO, it doesn't mean that I have to have a page that's Chris Palmer SEO. You can change this to be whatever you want. I click on Chris Palmer SEO, the name of the page is actually just SEO, and the name of the page is Chris Palmer Marketing dash Chris Palmer SEO. Just because you actually have this hyperlinked here, and or a word that's there, it doesn't mean that that page actually has to exist. It could be whatever you want. It's your website. You're the webmaster. That's what's great about this, okay? So that's that's one of the pieces that, that you need to note. 
So what I like to do generally is this. Okay. Say we, we have, you have your three services or five services or 12 services. And then you'll have your locations, right? Now, if you have a boatload of locations, then get a drop down or a mega menu. And that's fine. But what I like to do is this. Okay. So let's just say it's, you can, you can write services. You can write whatever. I'm writing services just to showcase what, what I mean. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to have your Dallas, right? Okay. Now, again, you could have a drop down or a mega menu. Okay. But it's going to go a little like this. Now, this is usually what I end up seeing. And, and, and I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It can. This will work faster. Okay. When, when we're talking about SEO, like there's a lot, there's a trillion ways to swing a cat, right? <laughs> um, but there's some ways that you could swing maybe a little faster, right? And, and when we're talking about the SEO, we always miss the most important letter in that, the optimization. Like the optimization is reaching the finish line for the fastest and the cheapest. The guy who could get there the fastest and the cheapest and stay there, that's the winner. Because honestly, if somebody comes and has a $20,000 budget, literally my, my little, my son, he's four with a $20,000 budget. I guarantee you he could make anybody rank. Now, if you could rank in a high competition area with nothing and a tiny budget and stay there. Ah, now that's the guy. That's the guy, right? Or the gal or the gal. It could be whoever you want it to be. So now here, let's take a look at this. So we have our HTTPS forward slash forward slash. We have our to be difference at the top in order for it to stay indexed, stay indexed. Okay. There has to be a variation. There needs to be, it's much less than passing the duplicate content filter because I'm not duplicating content in the same SERP. It's a different SERP. Okay. Google ranks pages, not sites. I'm not competing in the same SERP. And if you are, then you either need to de-optimize a page and this is one of the things that comes up a lot too. Hey, I have two pages competing with each other in the same SERP. Why is that a problem? <laughs> you have two pages in the same SERP. The only way that that's going to be a problem is if my, right? The, the only way that I would see this as a problem is if my uh, blog page that converts at 13% is beating out my Houston plumber services page. Now that's an issue, right? But if I have my home page competing with a primary service page and they're taking up two spots on the first page, who cares? <laughs> Hooray for us, right? Okay, let's keep going with this. Uh, we have the, this is supporting content or a blog content, okay? Off of the main concept. One of our primary services is gonna be plumbers or plumber. All right, so let's talk about structuring now. So we have our main website. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a control C and then I'm gonna do a paste. Okay, so we have our website.com. Now let's come into here. We have our Houston service page one, right? Control V. All right, so we have our website, Houston service one, whatever your service one is. If you want to do other pages, that's fine, but that goes under your Houston. Okay. Dallas. Okay. Dallas. We have eight services or 20 services or 50 services. Cool. Great. Pull them out. You need to have dedicated pages. If they're worth targeting, then they're worth having their own page. And if they're not, then why are they there? Right. And then when we're talking about supporting content, this is where, in my opinion, this is where we start our, our siloing of content or where this should go. Now, this is housed under the news or blog, or my favorite thing is to utilize a primary keyword like plumbing tips in this, for instance, or plumber marketing or plumber. Pick your, pick your keyword that's really high volume, that's really big, because this is a standalone page, this blog page. Okay. Now, if you take a look at Brian Dean's website, the only reason I'm mentioning him is because everybody knows who he is. He sold his website to SEMrush. The way he lays out his blog, it's backlinko.com forward slash blog, right? And listed on that blog page is a list of articles, correct? 
But when you click on an article, it doesn't say backlinko.com forward slash blog forward slash name of the article. No, 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 no. What it does is it goes directly to a page, right? But what I'm getting at here is that structure, how he's laying out that blog, that's how you lay out your blog. However, when you click on that article, right? So let's do this visually. So we have our, this page right here, right? This is our blog. I'm just going to call it blog. I think you should use a keyword. Okay. But let's say it's your HTTPS website.com forward slash, right? You have your blog. Okay. Um, probably in this case, it's going to, let's just say it's a uh, plumber tips. Okay. But that's your blog on that website. You're going to have your pages. This is a page. This is a page. But when I click on that page, it does not go to your website.com forward slash who is the best plumbers in Houston. No. What that goes to is it's create a supporting piece of content so you don't make the URL flat. You support the main topic or idea or the main category or your main service. It's a supporting piece of content to the primary service. This way, like to Google, you're saying, hey, this is supporting the main concept. And now you can do your riskier link building, AKA cheaper link building without risking the king, without risking the primary service pages. You see, so I can have my HTTPS forward slash, right? I have my website.com forward slash, what did I call it? Houston, H-O-U-S-T-O-N dash plumber. I build out a supporting piece of content and I call it what? What's it called? It's called, who's the best plumber in Houston, right? Who is the best plumber in Houston, right? Here's your, here's your, here's how we would structure that out. Okay. Now we have our website.com forward slash Houston plumber. Who's the best plumber in Houston? This idea supports this idea. 